Hi, this is Juan Loya with Homebridge Financial. Uh, welcome to our mortgage and real estate Q&A. Today's special guest is Karen Ziska, who is a sales manager with Homebridge Financial. Karen began her career in 2001 as a real estate agent, later became an asset manager, and then found her way to Homebridge. Before becoming a top loan officer, she was a coach and trainer with our business development team finally agreed to get her loan originator's license and has become a top loan officer. Recently, she was featured in Top Agent Magazine. Karen is not only a producing loan originator, but also a sales manager with a full team supporting her. Uh, she specializes in FHA conventional renovation loans, uh, home equity lines of credit and bridge loans, bank statement loans, and 1099 loans for self-employed individuals. Karen, welcome to the webinar. Hi, thanks so much. So it took me a little bit of time to come up with that intro, but uh, <laughs> I could go on forever, but- uh, I felt like that. I've heard that before somewhere. Right. Um, so Karen, um, today we wanted to talk about uh, some simple access programs to to help our uh, you know self-employed and 1099 borrowers. Uh, and I know you're the topic expert on this. So go ahead and, and let's go ahead and get started. Sure. Thanks everyone for coming. And um, with the market where it's at right now, we all realize we're in a raising rate situation. And so many agents are coming to me that uh, have had great pipelines of potential buyers that have had struggles finding homes that unfortunately right now with the increase in rates don't qualify for as much of a purchase price as what they did a few months back. And they're having struggles finding the right property. And with this simple access line of products that we have for lending, it really enables us to broaden our buyer pools to expand whom we're talking to, to get into a price point where it's more availability for the, for the clients and for the consumers along with people that have the funds and are not necessarily at that tight debt ratio where a lot of first-time home buyers might be. With this suite of products, it really enables us to kind of think outside of the traditional financing box and get to adding to our buyer pools and really marketing ourselves to a broader group of people. So with this, um, with this product suite, it does have different rules than the traditional FHA or conventional. Uh, it has different underwriting guidelines that are usually a little bit more lenient when it comes to the availability of funds. It really allows us to think bigger and really get out of the traditional uh, lending requirements that they have. Because right now, when you think of, is somebody qualified? And when you're with your sellers and negotiating offers, you're saying, all right, is it FHA? Is it VA? You know, they want the house in good condition. Is it USDA? Is it going to take longer? Is it conventional? Well, this suite of programs is actually a hybrid above those traditional financing um, requirements that we're all accustomed to. When we look at growing our buyer pool, a lot of times people will say, oh, well, I'm self-employed. But we run into the fact where so many times on their taxes, how many times have you guys had a self-employed borrower where you know they make a lot of money, but then when it comes to their taxes, they don't qualify for anything. Well, with our bank statement loan, what we look at is actually what their deposits are. I don't care what they claim on their taxes. I don't care what they've claimed the last two years on their taxes. I'm looking at uh, either using the last 12 or 24 months of bank statement averages, and that's what I'm using to establish their effective income. 1099 earners. How many times have you guys run across a truck driver that just writes off everything and makes no money? Salespeople, entertainers, same thing. The expenses are astronomical. But with a 1099 loan, we're actually looking at the 1099s, not necessarily what's on their taxes. Asset qualifier, you know somebody that had a business, had sold it, has tons of proceeds in the bank, it, but they don't want to use all the money. Well, we can actually qualify them based on their assets. And we also have asset depletion options. Investors, 
investors are a great pool of potential buyers to add to your buyer mix because think about it anytime you go on a listing presentation if the house needs you know gas in a match who do you reach to first but those investors so with our investor products we're able to actually lend on the cash flow of the property I'm not looking at what their income is I'm just making sure that that property is cash flowing and then full documentation with flexible requirements with this product, if you have somebody that is a traditional conventional loan, but there is something that is not letting the automated underwriting system actually approve the loan, but it fits within these requirements, we can actually do a full documentation loan that we may not have been able to get traditional underwriting approval through the automated system with using this loan. So it really opens up the buyer pool, not only for us as originators, but also for our agent partners. Loan limits. The loan limits on these products are up to two and a half million dollars, which with a two and a half million dollar loan, if you uh, if you've ever run across a scenario where somebody needed a jumbo loan with this product for an owner occupied loan, they actually only need 10% down up to that two and a half million, which is a game changer for so many people because you're not putting down the 20, 25%. It's a fixed rate loan. So a lot of the jumbo loans, you could either do a jumbo loan or you do an adjustable rate and a, a fixed second. And with this product, they don't have to worry, especially with the rates going up, about that adjustable first that may be there. Second homes and investments, 20% down. And with the investors, if they're looking at buying a multifamily property, they can purchase that with 20% down. Same thing, loan limits up to $2.5 million. Credit score requirements, uh, 620 is the basic, uh, the baseline, and at 720 is is obviously, you know, above that is, is, uh, is the top end of the break as far as the loan value that's required. So when we're thinking of self-employed and how to market ourselves to self-employed borrowers, think of people that you run across every day that are in business and we don't even give a second thought to because your thought is well i know they write everything off you know ladies hello we get our nails done we get our hair done we have daycare owners all the people that we interact with on a daily basis they should not only know who we all are but we should also be networking to them to know that what you do and what we can do to help them. So um, below is a list of kind of people that we've run across that we've done loans for. Um, and with these loans, the average loan size for this type of loan at our company is $702,000. The people that are self-employed, they have money, they're okay with putting decent amount of money down and they have a lifestyle that warns them to be to be purchasing homes that are above starter values which is great for all of us when we work on commission <laughs> and then with 1099 so even if you've been denied for a loan in the past if we look at your 1099 income that's what we're using to establish your effective income. We're not looking at your net income at the end of the year. So if you run across anybody in the past that was denied for 1099, reach out to a, myself or whatever loan officer here in the branch invited you today and have them take a look at it. Asset qualifier. Now there's a couple of different ways for the asset qualifier to work. It, again, if you have somebody that has a large amount of money in the stock market, retirement funds, sitting in the bank, we can actually use those assets to qualify them. Or if they are getting some sort of annuity, some sort of structured settlement, we can actually use that to qualify them. So on an individual basis, reach out and we'll uh, let you know what the requirements are for your individual buyer. 
multifamily owner occupied. House hacking is a huge thing right now. When we look at multifamily properties, if somebody can't go FHA for for whatever reason, and they still want to do the house hacking route, we can do a multifamily owner occupied purchase. And you're looking at 10% down, up four units up to that two and a half million. So it's great for the owner occupied. It's also great for the investor. Property does need to be move in ready. And then with the investor cash flow, the investor cash flow is great for investors that are looking to recycle their capital, get their money out as fast as they can to continue to grow their portfolio. We're making sure that they have experience. They have had to have owned a rental property at one point in their life. So we're asking them for a copy of an old lease and the new project that we're looking at helping them to purchase or refinance. We're looking to make sure it cash flows by a dollar. The buyer does need to have uh, some reserves in the bank or the client has to have reserves in the bank, which most, most of them do. And if we are helping them to grow their portfolio um, and they're actually taking cash out of a property, they can actually use that cash out for reserves, which is huge for investors because it really opens up their abilities to grow their pipeline and to grow their their portfolio even larger. And the great thing is investors love to share what they've learned and who taught them. So with your help, they're actually able to help their friends to grow portfolios and in turn growing your database and more clients for you guys. So when it comes to these products, when we look at how do we grow business and get to that next level, Let's focus on all the people that couldn't get financing in the past. Make a list of all small business owners. Let's go out with, with you, with your loan officer. Let's go and interview those business owners. Let's talk to them about any struggles they've had in the past with buying real estate financing and help them to advertise their business. So now we're able to brand you with growing your portfolio, grant, growing your agent or I'm sorry, your client database by helping these individuals that are 1099 small business owners, investors, and helping them grow while in turn you're growing. And if you guys have any questions, um, let us know. We're definitely here to answer them. And with, um, you know, thank any of your, you know, I want to say thanks to the loan officers here in the Downers Grove branch that invited you guys and reach back out to them individually. If they have any questions, uh, they're happy to answer them. So Karen, we, uh, we did receive, uh, I did receive a question. Um, they're asking me, is there a limit to how many properties uh, you can acquire? So with the uh, with these loans, they're able to have up to 15 loans in an individual's name at one time. Okay, outstanding. Thank you. Um, so if anybody has any any questions, feel free to put them into the chat box. Uh, as Karen mentioned, um, the uh, you know feel free to uh, please reach out to the loan officer who invited you to this webinar. Uh, to, to get a copy of the webinar and to answer any further questions. Uh, it's a fantastic program. We've had a, a great deal of success uh, in, in helping people grow their portfolios. Um, you know, Karen, why don't you give a little bit of, uh, you know, give a little bit of, uh, of uh, background to that. You know, tell us about some of your clients and, and what, uh, what type of portfolios they've been able to build. So when it comes to the investors, I've helped clients that have gone from zero properties up to 30 within their portfolio. Of course, we max out at the 15, um, but she's a, she was able to continue to grow and she's able to continue to use alternate financing methods and still utilize these loans uh, in addition to the other financing that's available. I've also had uh, daycare owners that own daycares and they needed to refinance their house to take capital out to 
be able to uh, minimize their debts and utilizing the bank statement program, they were able to do that where they had been turned down by six other lenders. I currently have a client that's looking at purchasing a property. She's been turned down by four other lenders because they didn't make enough uh, on their tax returns. However, utilizing this, um, I was able to qualify her to purchase a $700,000 property. So they are, you know, ecstatic that they're able to part to purchase and they're going to be uh, out shopping with their agent in the next 30 days because of this. So wow. they were just waiting for their kids to get out of school. So it's the program does work and expands the availability of financing to so many different people. Okay. And then is this uh, is this a program that uh, I had somebody ask me, is this a program that can be implemented into a BRRRR strategy? So the BRRRR strategy um, for investors definitely is a, a great option for this because when somebody is purchasing a property, they're going to purchase it either with cash or they're going to use some other type of financing and then need to refinance their property take the equity out of it so they can go and buy the next one. And this program is great for that because you are able to use the cash flow of that property. Again, we're not looking at their individual incomes. Okay. Outstanding. Well, Karen, let's uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Any final, any final words that you can share? Uh, no, if, if you need um, any assistance in talking to small business owners and expanding your database of people to follow up with and build relationships with, let us or uh, your individual loan officer know, and I'm happy to help with that. Okay, awesome. Well, great presentation. We appreciate your time. Again, for all the realtors who are listening, please reach out to the loan officer who invited you. We'll go ahead and get a copy of this. Um, and as Karen mentioned, we're happy to work with you to go build uh, relationships out into the marketplace, uh, business owners, self-employed 1099. And, you know, don't forget, uh, you know, for you guys uh, who are realtors, this is a great product for you to uh, get started in your own investment path uh, and, you know, create wealth through real estate. So uh, please uh, reach out to the loan officer who invited you. And thank you for attending uh, today's uh, Mortgage and Real Estate Q&A. Have a great day.